Hey, yeah, I'm back again. Uh, DM with Dove J E N T. Oh, uh, that's why I was meant to talk to y'all about. It. Now, dang, I can't change the camera. But yeah, later walked that whole, whole head looking like Marnie. I, it caught my attention. I'm like, how in the world? But yeah, so. Dang, that made me forget what I was talking about. Oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Had to get me busy. So, um. Yeah, so this is what happened. Why do people ask dumb or obvious questions like it it, it, it it didn't get mad at the response that they get back like it doesn't make sense to me it's funny because often to say something off the wall and very comical like is and that's what's gonna happen so bada beam bada boom bada bam this is what happened so to the story the lady had, okay, before the lady said something to me, I'll tell you what happened previously. I went and got me some food. Uh, my lunch had some stuff left over. So, you know, I had uh, ate some Chinese food, had a fortune cookie. I didn't um, eat my fortune cookie. I ain't pop it open, nothing like that. So, I'm in some neighborhood, or whatever, and I, um, I'm working, and I see some dogs. All right. Dub walk around, look like he couldn't find no grass because whoever y'all he was in, they they grass was dead. So he had nothing to eat. <laughs> so I was like, oh, <laughs> poor duck. <laughs> I said, let me let me get in a fortune cookie. So the lady, I just dropped something off at her house. Just dropped it off. Walk back to my truck, grab the fortune cookie. I walk towards the duck. Pop it open. Crumble it up, drop it on the ground. The duck came, we went to eating. All right, bet, cool. So I'm walking back to my truck. The lady stick her head out of the door. Um, excuse me. Did you just feed that duck? So, in my mind, so many things process at once in like a millisecond, like just like that. So I was thinking about all the combats I could have said. That would have ended very, very funny on my behalf, but she would have felt offended. And I'm like, so in my mind, I'm like, lady, you just see me. You can watch a rain doorbell. Like you see me walk to my truck, grab a fortune cookie, walk towards the ducks and fed them and come back. And you're going to ask me, did I feed the ducks? Like, really what that, that's dumb I know you can see because you walked to the front door and you opened your door you knew where the key was to unlock it and reach down where I put the package at to pick it up and to know to even see me to know I walked to the truck and asked me hey did I feed them ducks you seen all that but you're going to ask me did I feed them <sighs> so I look at the lady, and you know how you give people that blank stare? Like, you holding it, you're holding, you're holding it back. And I know for some people, that is hard. That is hard. They don't know how to hold anything back. They let their jump roll off a tongue. Like, what, what's that saying? Water off a duck back. Ah. Yeah, hold on, phone call, pause. All right, resume. So, yeah, sorry about that. I had a phone call, I had to hurry up intend to uh what was i saying oh yeah so the lady i gave her the look like so soon as she asked the question it's like everything went in what was the movie wanted you know how you slow down time 
and my eye just went dumb. Yes, I did. And that, that, that was my look like later. Later. The shirt says, I have issues. <laughs> In my mind, oh, yeah. She almost got every combination that you can put in chicken noodle soup. You, kimchi and, and hot spicy uh, oregano, whatever. I don't even know you can put that on there. You probably would. You know. But anyway, so. And she was like, yeah, don't feed the dust. We try to get them away from here. All right, cool, cool. I ain't say nothing. I continued about my business and I went and got in my truck. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, first of all, if I don't want my fortune cookie and I want to get to the ducks, I'm going to get to the ducks. Let them poop in your driveway. My bad. But at the end of the day, if I don't want my food that I pay for, and I feel like throwing away or feed it to a duck or give it to a squirrel or give it to a, a stray dog or might even give it to your dog. It doesn't matter. I'm going to give it away. It's mine. I paid for it. I'm saying, but it is a respect level of certain, certain things. Like say, music. Running in somebody's neighborhood full of elderly people and you bamming Four twelves in the trunk. Seven o'clock in the morning. Your speakers. <laughs> you do what you want. But at the end of the day, you know, you just have to, you know, be mindful of certain things. Which I'm I'm a person that I'm pretty much mindful. Uh, I try to respect other people and their surroundings, this, that, and forth. Like I say, if you got a hearing aid, like my dad, he got some hearing aid. He get in my car, guess what? I'm finna bam these speakers. Plain and simple. And you know what? You know what he gonna do? <laughs> hey, put that on the USB drive for me. <laughs> Alright, daddy, no problem. <laughs> so, ain't got a problem with that. But, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm telling you what to do with my fortune cookie. That's my fortune cookie. I paid for it. I had the soy sauce and duck sauce in the bag with the napkins and the fork. I paid for that. That reminds me of one time. <laughs> now this is funny. Uh, I was working at a uh, Family Dollar, and uh, this lady <laughs> was I wrong? I probably was. I went actually. I went that wrong. I went that wrong. So I finished ringing the lady out and whatever, and giving her her total. And so I told her, so if she's preparing the money to give it to me so I can cash her out, I got my hand out. There you go. So she takes it and she puts the money on the counter. My hand is still here. I left it there for about a good four to six seconds. The money stayed on the counter. Turn my hand over, grab the money. Cash out, got her change. I said it on the counter. This lady said, <clears throat> I said, yes, ma'am. I said, I said, here's your receipt. So she snatched the receipt out of my hand and said, You can hand me my receipt, but you ain't hand me my money. I said, Oh, well. Would you like me to talk? Would you like to talk to my manager? She was like, "Yeah, you need to call your manager." But that's rude. You shouldn't did this. You should did that. I'm like, "Okay, okay." So I called my manager up to the front. She came. She said, "Um, what's the problem?" I said, "Oh, uh, this young lady." I said, "This young lady would love to talk to you." She was like, "Okay." So she's expressing how she feel. I'm like, "Okay." So I'm just ringing up the next customer. So the next customer was like, "She." 
was kind of hesitant with me because she didn't know exactly what was going on. So when the manager asked me, hey, why you didn't give her her money back in her hand? And I said, excuse me one moment. I said, because my mama taught me to put things back where I got them from. Oh, she got 38 high. The lady in front of me, I catch her, she bust that laugh. She said, you know what? She said, you the life of this stove. You is the life of this stove, baby. And <laughs> walk that. My manager laughed. Did I get in trouble? No. She, my manager, after everybody was going to manager put me to the side, she was like, she's like, you know what? She said, you know you a a-hole. I said, hi. I said, I had my hand out. She proceeded to put the money on the counter. So guess what? Evidently, she didn't want to exchange. So guess what? I put the money back where I got it from. I'm wrong for that because my mama raised me right. Just saying. She like, boy, you so stupid. Go, 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 go back to work. I appreciate it. But that goes to say, that had nothing to do with nobody saying or asking a question and get mad at a response. But it kind of falls in the same category. You do stuff and then you get mad when it's reciprocated. Yeah, but I'm just saying be mindful of what you do, how you treat people, this, that, and the fourth. Because at the end of the day, if you do something like that, guess what? I'm going to get a laugh. You might be offended. I'm going to get a laugh. And everybody's around me going to get a laugh. Because I'm not going to do anything to personally, like, disrespect you. But it's going to make you think. It, it, it is. A lady, when I was saying Family Dollar again, uh, she bought a, a keychain. And... Her, her dude was there, but he didn't get mad. He understood where I was coming from. So she but oh, I, I need this keychain because it, it, it perfectly suits me. So I read the keychain. It says, um, it had a world on it. And it says, I'm the only one here. Don't worry. They like me there. They like me here. So I asked her, I said, so who is they? She said, me. I mean, she said, me. It's just me. I said, okay, but so I asked, who is they? <laughs> she was like, me. They like me there. I'm like, okay, okay. I ain't say nothing. And so her dude, he, 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 I thought he was going to get offended, <laughs> but he did. He was like, <laughs> and so she was like, what made you ask that question? I said, because you said they like you, but you're the only one in that world. So I'm just trying to figure out who is they. <laughs> and she's like, whatever. And so she ended up right before she walked out the door. I guess her boyfriend told her whatever. <laughs> and she like, oh, you know you wrong. Bust out, like, stop my whole transaction. You know you wrong. Oh, you a real funny guy. You got me. You got me. I say, hey, guess what? Thanks for the sale. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Plain and simple. But, yes. That's a uh, daily mess with Dub J E N T. And I want to tell y'all, like, comment, share, subscribe, spread the world out. Spread the word out. Excuse me. I'm talking about the world. But, yes. Initially, spread across the world, you know, trying to reach different countries and stuff. Uh, but yes, I want to say I love y'all, appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time on Dub J E N T.